Wow. That's right. fucking hot. <laughs> ah! Ah, fuck. Did it leave a mark? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was shooting it, and I walked up and he just felt it. So close. Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck! Burns, dude! Yeah, dude. Double cross it, double cross it. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. By the way, Wee, Wee Man makes a very cute duck. He's adorable. <laughs> All political correctness aside, a little white swan in a big black swan's neighborhood. Always dangerous. Question of the day. Will the ugly duckling become a beautiful swan, or will he just get his ass kicked? You be a The ugly duckling's only hope is to give the black swan a French kiss. Yeah, give him a kissy poo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rub his tummy. Oh. 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 <laughs> he has a good right hook. Oh. Yeah. Run, 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 run. There you go. Run, run, man. It's a snapping turtle on a stick. You want to get a picture of it, Lance? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a bad dad. Bucks your baby up. Oh, oh, oh shit! He's okay. He's okay. He's okay, yeah. Yeah. Don't tell his mommy, please. He's kind of a bitch about this. Yeah, you gotta move up a little bit. What? Well, that thing on the back is gonna hey, whack my face. Right, yeah. It ain't gonna hit you, I promise. It's gonna, it's, it's it. All right, it's gonna fucking slap. Fat Fat is hungry for some chocolate, so now I'm gonna feed him. <laughs> Come here, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Dumbass. What happened? The director. Who's an asshole? <laughs> you oh, you got a bloody lip. He's like, no, it won't hit you. Get closer. <laughs> this mother. Just one day, I just want to have him in front of the camera, so I could shit in his face, <laughs> piss on his leg. <laughs> it's not gonna hit you. I bet no. you twenty bucks. As a matter of fact, forty. <laughs> yeah. I just want to get him in front of camera and just have a bowl run in his face, just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Right, right here. Oh, fuck, that was funny. <laughs> we tried to film this scene on a boogie board, and it was beautiful, like, in all these, like, you know, 
these like playtime balls, you know, in the elevator and opens up and I come sliding out and drop knee style on my on a boogie board like like this. You know like that. And you might not use this, it might be babbling, but I'm just gonna give you a little background on drop knee riding and my history with it. There's drop knee boogie boarding was invented by Jack the Ripper Lindholm on the north shore of Oahu. And he would ride big waves of the pipeline in a position like kind of diagonal with his weight more on his back foot, you know, like this. And then later, the next famous drop knee boogie boarder was Keith Sasaki. And he was a small wave hot dog. He would ride a little more upright and more facing forward, you know, for a small wave attack. And um, when I was in that elevator, I had to ask myself, Chris, what are you going to do, drop Jack the Ripper style for, you know, big wave tube riding? It's a big drop. Or for a hot dog, you know, attack, like Kisasaki. And what I did was I kind of combined the two. It takes a lot of strength and power and aggression. <laughs> I knew I had all three of those elements, but could I combine them? I think so. You can decide when you watch. and I heard Bam's asleep in the van. Come with me, Rick. You can pay for one of them fancy defibrillators or you can just get the boys to build you one. Way to go, boys. So someone said that Bam's asleep in the van and I'm gonna go give him a little wake up with this uh, high-tech defibrillator that the boys have made. Are those air hockey? It's defibrillator paddles. Clear! Where's he at, where's he at? <laughs> what happened? Did he get you? Did he? Yeah, he got me. God, I was worried because you weren't responding to people. I, at least we know you're alive. I just saved his life. I just saved your life, Bam. Do you fear heights? Extremely fear of heights. Yeah, that's my biggest fear in the world is heights. I picture it like a pirate ship, you know, maybe 10 feet off the water. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Not this fucking nightmare. This ship would have to be on fucking fire for me to jump off of it. Arr, shiver me timbers, matey. We're making our peg boy walk the plank today for an attempted and successful mutiny on my poop deck. Preston was caught violating the fellow crew, and if we don't punish him for it, people are going to think we enjoy ourselves. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, out there. Whatever you do, don't look behind you. One, two, three! I think if we would have had a, a bigger cannon with more power to knock me off, it would have been a golden bit. But you know, it's not a perfect science when you're shooting a fat guy with a cannon. We can make the impact much stronger this time, right? Yeah. I realize it. Let's do it again. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Did the rock salt hurt yesterday? 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got that shit on my ass too. There's our launch pad mm -hmm. right over there where that camera is. Landing pad. Space station. Space. Easy day. Easy day. Final frontier. It is. In the early days of Jackass, Bam used to be really homophobic and he used to really say, no gay stuff for me, man. And now he's always the first of all, oh, you're going to shoot a dildo rocket? Shoot it into my ass. You know, Dunn got caught shoving that tiny Corvette up his butt. And, I get uh, caught. <laughs> and everybody talks about it. So I just have a lot of bits involving my ass simply because he got caught shoving a Corvette up his butt. So, you, so you're just admitting to stealing my thunder right a here in front of me? A little bit, right here and now. Jesus. That's what you get, enough of the gruff. <laughs> What you're about to see is extremely dangerous. Kids, I beg you, never try this at home. This is rocket ass. Gonna land this missile right on your anus. Oh, I'll bet. Pucker up, buttercup. I am. Push a spider. Have you never seen this before? God be with you. You better give me a countdown, you son of a bitch. Three, two, one. Blast off! Oh! oh my god. Oh, that's terrifying. It seems to me like when it comes to like things going up your butt and so on, like when you're the giver, you're totally innocent. The receiver is the one that, that's being a little bit goofy. But when it comes to, to oral play, the guy receiving it's totally innocent, the guy giving it's guilty. What's up with that? We're about to get Steve-O and or Knoxville um, raped by a donkey. We, on Wild Boys, we filmed this two-man llama suit that got raped by an elk, and we thought that was the funniest thing we ever shot. And in our opinion, no one ever saw Wild Boys, so let's get it again with a donkey and a donkey suit. And, That'll be funny. Steve, how come you're always the back in this situation? I don't know, maybe because I don't feel like getting my eye glued shut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I think that if you look at that helmet, you're in a a much tougher spot than I am. <laughs> <laughs> what has two thumbs and loves donkey cock? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> What's your prediction? I only hope. There's a lot of biting involved in penetration. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this scene is done until somebody gets penetrated. Steve-o. And now it's time for the donkey ride. <laughs> uh, Knoxville and I were in the donkey suit trying to get fucked by a donkey. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't work. You want them kind of closer to the gate here? Yeah, we're, we're trying to get the, the... Neither one of these jackasses seem to be interested. We need an erection. And we need to get an erection for you. <laughs> I'll jerk that fucking thing off. If that's what if that's what the scene is gonna come down to, I'll jerk that thing off. I'll do that with no pictures. <laughs> I'm an animal. Uh, let me go find out. You know, Jackass, I think we used to let bits fail a lot easier before, but now we're pretty committed to them. This is gonna turn out to be like underwater farts. <laughs> you know, we're just not gonna throw in the towel. We're gonna keep doing it every time. <laughs> Take two, donkey fucker. We're here to watch live bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> Disguised as a comedy. <laughs> There's something yeah. wrong about this. <laughs> it's a slippery slope. Okay, guys, we got here. This is love potion number one. <laughs> this is the real original Doctor Love potion. It's it's pee pee. Yeah, of one that's in season. That means in heat. In heat. And, and if if we were to pour that on his haunches then it might encourage the donkey to, uh... Hopefully so, yeah. All right, okay. well, let's, uh... Oh, is this... Love... Lo okay, let me, uh... Okay, let me put the head on. Let us get uh, into donkey mode first. Hey, Knoxville, <laughs> put a little around the mouth hole, too. Yeah, yeah. Do you think you're safe to see those in back then? That donkey might want a blowjob, man. <laughs> I've seen this shit happen before. <laughs> wow, that's very syrupy, Pete. Watch out, Knoxville. Thank you. Let me make sure this stuff is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, like, you gotta see this shit. Oh, 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 wow. 
It's very syrupy. So and it's fucking delicious. <laughs> yep, I drank it. <coughs> My stomach is getting <coughs> Why is drinking? I, you said I'm a nervous stomach, but <coughs> working with Steve all this long makes me have one. So we shot this bit over and over and over again. We are ready and waiting. We never got it. I guess they just weren't very attractive. Jackass 4. We'll get one of the guys raped by a donkey.